Let's talk about cyclamen. Cyclamen is actually one of my favorite crops. Um, it's part of a group of plants that I'm going to call cool season annuals that we grow for color. And um, there's three primary ones that we t we t we're going to talk about. There's uh, calcellaria, um, senecio, and cyclamen. Um, and not really any specific uh, order that we're going to talk about. I used to have these all crammed into one lecture, but I thought I would separate them out primarily for the video purpose. But calcellaria, uh, some people call it the pocketbook plant. Um, it's um, calcellaria herbio hybrida. It's uh, native to the Andes Mountains in Chile and Peru. Uh, so it's a very cool season climate. It's a called pocketbook plant because the flowers have this big lip and looks like a woman's purse. They come in yellows, orange, reds, spotted by color. Um, it, 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 a fun plant to grow. We typically grow it in the late winter because it grows in a cooler greenhouse. Um, it uh, targeted for Mother's Day or Easter. Uh, it um, can be grown year round. It's a challenge to get those greenhouse temperatures, but it has a pretty poor ho post harvest life in the heat of the summer. Older cultivars, the, the old school production, is it required a combination of short days and cool temperatures to vernalize the plant and to bloom. Um, it, it blooms at shorter days and cool temperatures. Uh, the modern cultivars don't require this so much, but they still require some cooling. To propagate it, it's all seed propagation. Uh, covered seed germinates really fast, about 10 degrees, 65 to 68 degrees. Uh, seedlings transport three to four weeks, and then we're going to grow the seedlings at about 65 degrees, temperatures are, are higher. Calcellaria is grown a lot by special peer propagators. Um, but a lot of people grow their own seed on this particular one. We're going to grow it um, uh, with, with a little bit of light. Um, if you're going to grow it at, at, an opt at a different temperature, um, warmer temperature, it's going to take a little longer. This is a full sun um, plant during the late fall or early winter. If it gets too hot, you can use some shade. Um, Long days, we can uh, use fluorescent or HID lights. It's pretty simple to grow. And the temperature, the production temperature is 55 to 65. So it's a pretty cool, t cool crop. Grows under uh, moderately cool greenhouse temperatures. Uh, we want it to stay evenly moist. We don't want it to wilt at all. We never like, uh, it doesn't like to go uh, to any dryness at all. So we need to keep it uniformly moist because it wilts pretty fast. High feeder. 201020, uh, high nitrate fertilizers, um, just like everything else we've talked about to this point. Some people will add a little iron or manganese if the water is very clean or if the water has a high pH. Um, the median needs to be 5.8, 6.2. Um, if you get into the high pH, you're going to have some iron chlorosis and have to uh, add an iron supplement. Uh, we see chlorosis if the temperature is too cold, high pH, or if we're overwatering, like if it sits in wet, wet soil, it needs to be uniformly moist but not overly wet, or if you're feeding it too much. Now, we need to manipulate the uh, flower bud initiation. This is on the older cultivars. Um, cool temperature, long days, and short days, it's gonna, it's gonna bloom. Warm temperature, you get long flowering under long days, so you the cooler we can take the temperature, the better. Long days will promote flower bud initiation. It's a long day plant, but it's, it's more facultative. It's not obligate. The modern cultivars, the, modern, the, the ones that you're going to buy, if you're buying um, uh, pre-grown plugs, it's, it's, it's going to be the more uh, up-to-date cultivars. You're going to ha not have as many uh, problems. We typically don't pinch. Most growers grow the calcellaria in a four inch pot plant, sold as an impulse plant in uh, chain markets oftentimes. Uh, if it's grown in a five or six inch pot, that's more for the floristry market, and you will do a pinch to increase the plant size. Uh, Psychocell, most people that use Psychocell or a growth regulator, they use it because they've got uh, 
an old greenhouse with a poor sunlit roof or you've got a cloudy season, but we're not going to apply too much. Um, maybe a foliar application of 800 parts per million to keep it down 20%. Um, drench, uh, reduce height 50%. That's for the larger plants. It does not change the time to flower, but it can cause some leaf burn. So the traditional scheduling for calcellaria, three to four weeks after sowing the plant for a six to, in, six to eight inch pot, um, six to eight weeks um, with a drop to temperature, and then six weeks is our flowering schedule. And this is all under natural day length. You can speed this up a little bit by adding long days. It's a simple plant to grow. Uh, it doesn't require a lot of um, uh, greenhouse sophistication. The greenhouse can be cooler. I've seen a lot of growers use this to, uh, as a break away from Easter lilies uh, during the cool season of the winter as a, to generate some income during um, or prior to the bedding plant season. Fast crop schedules. Um, if you're doing a late winter, um, late January. You know, these are just some fast crop schedules that you can use with these particular days.